Hi, I'm Owen Wynn. In this video, we're going to look at a customer that has experienced a failure and wants to introduce high availability into both a dedicated solution and also take a look at what that might look like in a cloud solution. So here I have a dedicated solution where a customer has a single point of failure with their database and the customer experienced a failure on that single point of failure so they want to add redundancy to that. So in a dedicated environment that would require a number of different steps here. You see they already have redundant web heads and the load balancer handles distributing load between these web heads. So you already have high availability at this tier of your infrastructure. However, there are three separate places here where we do not have high availability. So in a dedicated environment, one thing you would want to do is you'd want to add a second redundant firewall. In addition to that second redundant firewall, you would also need a second redundant hardware load balancer. And you could set these up in, in pairs so that they would have failover capability between the actual physical boxes that you were running that on. And then in, in a third place, you would want to come in and you want to add yet another database server. All right. And in a dedicated solution, um, this is totally doable, but it ends up costing you a lot of money because you're deploying additional hardware here, additional hardware here, and additional hardware here. Now let's take a look at that same solution in a cloud hosting environment. First of all, we already have redundancy with our servers at this tier, just like we had in our dedicated solution. The cloud load balancer itself typically is deployed as part of a service array that includes many load balancers and there's redundancy typically already built into this architecture. It depends on who your cloud hosting provider is as to whether or not that's true or not, but at many cloud hosting providers that's the way this solution is, is addressed. So you probably already have high availability here as well as here. But down here with this database, you see I've deployed cloud servers, I control my cloud servers, I control my operating system and and all of the software that goes onto them, just like I did over here with my servers in my dedicated environment. Uh, but this cloud server here that's running my cloud database, I only have a single database instance running on a single cloud server instance. So to add high availability and redundancy to my cloud environment, all I would need to do is deploy another cloud server, install my database software on that cloud server, and then set up database replication between these two databases. And I would have two highly available databases. I could set up my server so that they could reference either one or both of these, or I could even take this a step further. And what I could do is throw another load balancer in here. If these were, if these were, <clears throat> If these databases were identical databases one to another and I had them set up with mirroring, I could have two cloud servers down here and I could run identical databases on these two cloud servers and balance between them. So then I could have high availability at my database tier, high availability at my cloud server tier, as well as uh, my cloud load balancing solution as well. Other things I can do with the cloud is I can add additional services like cloud block storage, which adds uh, additional storage capacity. Depending on what type of storage that's, that's behind that block storage, you may or may not have solid state or spinning disk platters. Uh, so it depends on, on what solution you're going with on that. But many cloud hosting providers have introduced uh, solid state drives as an additional add-on. That would give you additional uh, resilience and, and actually reduce your recovery time if you did go down in that you could copy all of your data onto that solid state drive and then if you wanted to rapidly spin up additional servers that had that data on it you could use that that uh, cloud block storage device to provide uh, additional access to your data and spin up new servers at, at, at will. So there's two different ways of addressing the issue of high availability. One in a dedicated environment where you end up adding a lot of additional hardware and then another in a cloud environment where we spin up a few additional virtual machines, a few additional cloud servers, and you host your database software on those devices. Thanks for watching. 
My name's Owen, I'm a Cloud U contributor. See you around campus.